Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough we're going to be checking out Verve, which is the newest addition to our Vintage Keys series. This library revives the vintage analog sounds of the quirky Gen Brio 61 CS. While the Gen Brio was most popular for its cheesy string and ensemble vibrato tones, it also had synth trombones, trumpets, clarinets, oboes, piano presets, and more. We recorded this Italian organ in wide stereo and direct line in, then handcrafted 30 evolving atmospheric pads and soundscapes from the raw content to give you added versatility and some extra sounds for underscoring and much more. Verve offers a snapshot of early synthesizer history complete with warm tonal colors equipped to complement any genre of music. So without further ado, let's dive in and start checking out some of the sounds and features that come within Verve. This library comes with three separate NKIs to choose from, as well as a folder for custom effects presets, which we'll play a little bit later on in the video. Right now I have the direct line in loaded up, so let's go ahead and check out some of these sounds. These are the sustains that come with the library. It's got a very warm sound to it. Another way you can take the sounds of this library and thicken them up an octave above and below is by incorporating the octave knob. One of the things I like to do is just map this to my mod wheel. It makes it really easy to just kind of change stuff in real time and sort of thicken it up. And this kind of sound always reminds me of old school video games, which I'm a huge fan of. And then we also have some different staccatos to choose from. And then we have some key down effects. as well as key up effects. If you'd like to add some more extra effects on top of these sounds, you can go into the effects rack over here. And here you have a whole bunch of different effects to choose from, from flange, chorus, distortion, reverb, different types of reverb. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up. So let's go ahead and use this cathedral sound. And then you can increase the size, you can increase the mix, you can also do some low and high pass filtering if you want to uh, carve out some of those low sounds. Let's go ahead and add some phaser. And then we can go ahead and turn on some delay. And one of the things I like to do is always have sync enabled. So whenever I'm 
recording or doing anything within my DAW, it'll sync to the tempo, which is always nice. And then I like to go ahead and increase the pan. That way you hear a lot of uh, bouncing back and forth, sort of a ping pong effect. <laughs> Go ahead and increase the octave knob. And then after that, if you want to shape the sound a little bit more, you can go into the advanced tab right up here, which gives you some LFO, filtering, and arpeggiation. So let's just mess around with the arpeggiator. I'm just going to hold a chord. Let's turn this on. And then after that, we can go ahead and turn on some LFO. So let's just go ahead and enable this. I like to use the triangle shape, and then I like to set the target to pan so you're getting a little bit more stereo action. So let's just go ahead and play around with this. And then if you want to add some filtering, all you have to do is go up here, enable the filter. You have a bunch of different filter types to choose from, and then you can also set the way that you use it. So you can have it where it's velocity based, mod wheel based. Uh, let's just go ahead and set it to mod wheel based. So it's a few different ways that you can utilize some of the different features of the library to get a little bit more movement out of the sounds. And then below this category dropdown, you'll see that you have a glide knob, and this is a feature that's within all of the Vintage Keys libraries. So if you want to go ahead and utilize this, just turn it up a little bit, and this sort of acts as kind of like a pseudo portamento sort of sound, so the more that you have it up, the more exaggerated the glide's going to be. So let's go ahead and increase this. Let's go ahead and crank it all the way, see what happens. Get a little bit of that THX sound going on. All right, so now let's go ahead and have a play through some of the different ambiences that come with the library. There's 30 to choose from, and these are all handcrafted using the source content of the library.
All right, last but not least, let's go ahead and have a playthrough of some of the custom effects presets that come with the library. There's 20 to choose from, and all of these utilize different features and sound sculpting abilities of the library to give you some different inspirational Kickstarter. So let's go ahead and have a playthrough. All right, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for Verve. If you'd like to learn more about this library or any of the other products within the Vintage Keys series, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all future videos, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.